Okay, we are live. Yay. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video later on, uh, I'm basically doing a live session. So I'm going to be answering your questions one on one. I mean, live. So let's see if anyone's here. I can't even see the live chat. Is anyone here? Hey, guys. Okay, yeah, I can see people are coming in. Hi, Suhani. Hi, Rahul. Hi, Pritam. Hi, Anchal. Yeah, lots of you guys here. The Diary of Logs. Hi, JR, JR Talk. Hi, hi, Sai Kumar. Hi, Ajay, Adarsh, Vinya. Hey, everyone. <laughs> How's everyone's Sunday going? I haven't been live on YouTube in the longest, longest time. In case you're not following me on Instagram, I go live there more often, so follow me there. It's just like such a hassle to go live on YouTube, I feel. But nonetheless, I've realized a lot of you guys don't follow me on Instagram, so I'm doing this live session here. Everyone's saying hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Rudra, Vivek, Gaurav. So nice to see you all here. Thanks for joining in. Rudra, hi, hi. Vivek says, where are you going next? I am going to, I'm not traveling for a while, but I think next I'm going to be going to Kolkata uh, for my friend's wedding. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, sorry. Uh, where was I? Okay, the chat is scrolling by too fast. But yeah, if you guys have been following me, I firstly, if you can hear me, let me know if the audio is okay. And yeah, I posted a video a couple of weeks ago saying, I will post more frequently and I've been trying, but the last couple of weeks I've sort of fallen sick, so I've not been able to stick to that schedule, unfortunately. Uh, uh, but yeah, because I couldn't edit a video, I thought I'll just come live and say hi to everyone. So yeah, Vivek was asking, sorry, where are you going next? So like I was saying, I'm going to Kolkata sometime in Jan, first week of Jan, I think around 3rd or 4th, and I know a lot of you guys are from Kolkata, so I'm definitely going to be doing uh, a meetup there as well. Mm -mm -mm. Someone says it's winter, not summer. In Bombay, it is still, it feels like summer. It's really hot here. Mm -hmm. Someone says you're too energetic. Yeah, I think for once, I've, this whole week, I've just been sick and like too blah. So finally, today, I feel a little energetic. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, uh, this is there's no agenda for this live chat. So if you want to ask me any questions, I'm going to be online, I think, for like half an hour to 45 minutes. So you can ask me whatever you want about YouTubing, life, travel, whatever you feel like. Which camera are you using? I'm live right now on my iPad. So yeah. Mm. Anchal Gupta says, just love your content. Thank you so much, Anchal. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, I liked your Bali series. Thank you. I... I oh, love going to Bali so much that I think I really want to go back. Uh, I was in Bali at the start of this year. Hopefully, I get to go again soon. What's your education? I feel like every time I go live, someone or the other asks me what my education is. So let me just uh, say it one more time. So I did my schooling in Velour. Uh, I did like 11th and 12th in economics and commerce. And then I did my undergrad in Lady Sri Ram College in economics. I did it from there in economics honors. And then I did a postgrad from Xavier's um, in marketing communications and advertising. And then I worked for four years and now I'm a YouTuber. Priya V says, you're so pretty. Thank you so much, Priya. Do you have any plans for 2020? Of course, I have a lot of plans. Um, I'm not going to say anything yet because I'm not sure, but I have like a list of places I want to vis visit, a list of things I want to accomplish in 2020. So slowly you'll see all of that happening. Why are you not posting frequently? 
So I said I would post thrice a week. I think I am still, I'm not able to do that because I've been sick, but I still do post at least once a week, which I think is not bad. <laughs> Goes. Have you been to Berlin, anywhere in Germany? No, I haven't, unfortunately. And what are your plans for New Year's? I'm not sure yet, but I think I might just go back home for New Year's because this is the last time. Uh, I mean, this is my brother's moving to the US, so this will be the last time we're all home for New Year's. So I thought I might just go home. But I don't know. Let's see if something exciting comes up. I might do that. When are we expecting a house store? Good question. So uh, that is going to come up, I think, next week. Hopefully, I am more or less done. In fact, I just went and got like a lot of printouts. And I was just doing that today. I'm like making, decorating my house, basically. So I'm more or less done. Mm, what is your job? Interesting question. My job is a YouTuber, in case that wasn't obvious. So I used to work in finance and then marketing. I've had like three and a half years of work experience before this, but now I do YouTube full time and that's how I make my living. Mm, I feel like I missed a couple of questions. I'm just going to scroll up. How do you manage your expenses for your tours? So I've addressed this before as well, but a lot of my trips are actually sponsored by tourism boards and brands and stuff. And if not, I think YouTube actually uh, pays you decently. So, I mean, after a point in YouTube, it is a good business uh, to be in and you make decent money. So I am making good money here. I'm affording, I mean, I pay for my rent and everything myself. So, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of how I afford my travels. Mm -hmm. How important is it to promote videos? How do you recommend it? Kush Search Deva asks that. So honestly, I have never promoted my videos. I think YouTube does allow you to do that. So I've never tried it. You could try that. But I feel like the best thing to do is uh, to keep creating a lot of content and hopefully one of them will go viral and that's the best way to reach a wider, wider audience. So try to make videos about topics that are trending if for example you're making travel videos there are places like goa or northeast india which uh, typically tend to do well on youtube so try to make those videos mm -hmm. someone says would you please talk in hindi why don't you make videos in hindi okay let me answer this in hindi so i have hindi aati hai uh, meri mother tongue bhi hindi hai but uh, i grew up in south india so maine uh, school mein and friends ke saath zyada hindi mein baat nahi ki hai to mujhe hindi utni uh, matlab achhi se aati to hai but utna comfortable mein feel nahi karti hu hindi mein baat karne mein uh, and i feel i'm going to switch to english now and i feel like we i have a lot of audience from south india and other parts of india which don't speak in hindi so i would maybe like to make hindi videos once in a while but i feel like i have a very diverse audience from outside of India, from South India, which is where I'm from. So I would like to make videos which reach uh, more people that way. And yeah. Mm. Okay, I feel like there are too many questions and YouTube isn't letting me scroll up beyond a point. So if I've missed your question, please send it in again. What are the places you're looking to explore in Kolkata? Honestly, I haven't done my research. I'm going there for my friend's wedding. Uh, my best friend, whose name is also Kritika Goel, she's getting married. So I'm going for that, but I'm going to be extending my trip and doing sightseeing and I'm going to vlog all of that as well. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. But yeah, I'm guessing, I don't know why YouTube isn't letting me scroll up beyond a point. So like the questions are just going by so fast. So please, if you if I missed your question, just send it again. you're talking about Palakshi says call my name please hi Palakshi Okay, guys, this YouTube is acting weird. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Someone says, when are you coming to Chennai? I don't really have plans anytime soon, honestly. I might be going home, but I don't think 
Uh, by the way, if you don't know home, that's in Vellore. But I don't think I'll be stopping in Chennai. How did you think? Let's do this in terms of vlogs. So I honestly don't know how I got into YouTube. It was sort of very random. I used to have a blog where I used to write, and I had like an active Instagram as well. And a year after I started doing that, I realized I really enjoyed like visual. uh content more so i started i saw sort of just pushed myself to start youtube and that's how it started and i didn't really know what kind of videos i wanted to make i was just making whatever i felt like and over time i realized i enjoyed making vlogs so i started doing more of that any specific date coming to kolkata i'm not 100% sure of my dates yet but i think somewhere between the 3rd and the 8th of jan please plan a trip to indore it's food capital of india you're going to love it i know i really want to my parents went to indore last year and they said amazing things about it so i definitely want to visit indore Which languages do you speak? I speak English, Hindi and Tamil. Which is your first solo trip? I think my first international solo trip was to Singapore. Uh although in Bali also I did a few days solo by myself, but like a whole international trip solo was Singapore and within India I think Jaipur was my first solo trip. Tell us about your love life. There is not much to say, my friend. Any plans of road trips? I'm not sure. I uh would like to, but I don't think I'd want to do that on my own. So if I get company for road trips, definitely. Mm-hmm. I don't know why a lot of questions are like repeats but i'm guessing i told you to send questions again so that's why so no worries someone says you should pay a visit to bangladesh the flora and fauna can soothe your eyes yes that would be awesome for sure some day can you do a video on how to shoot with g7x mark 2 okay sure i mean i'm not really sure what exactly to show in that video because i just like point and shoot at things but Yeah maybe like there are a few tricks that I feel like I've learned over the course of my 2 years of using this camera so maybe I'll do a video on that right Meet and greet in Bangalore yes I have been getting asked about this for the longest time so definitely hopefully in 2020 or uh, in the first half of 2020 for sure I'll try to make this happen Do you know Andhra Pradesh? Yes, of course. Why would I not know? I have been to Andhra Pradesh like three, four times. I mean, I've been to Hyderabad three, four times. I've been to Andhra more times. Someone says Nikhil says they love my house. Thank you so much. Mm-mm-mm. What is your favorite sport? growing up like you would find it hard to believe but i used to play basketball and you can't really tell from my height but yeah i really used to enjoy playing basketball someone's giving me recommendations for kolkata victoria memorial park street yes definitely and i think the street food there is also really good so i'd love to try that out any plans of taking few of your subscribers to visiting a place must be interesting yes i am planning to do that in 2020 like a trip with my subscribers so uh, i feel like it's such a difficult thing to plan because the logistics aren't easy so hopefully i'll figure it out mm. please come to udaipur prema sir yes i would love to i've been to udaipur like during college i went there during like a 
college trip and uh, it was so beautiful i went to udaipur and also like kumbalgarh fort and all of that around udaipur uh, but i definitely love to visit again and vlog all of that cuz it's so pretty people are like come to nepal best place for momos yes i want to visit nepal and bhutan so many places on my bucket list uh, hopefully in the next year i will make it happen you lead a disciplined life it's really amazing that is literally no one's ever told me that i've le- like that i lead a disciplined life my dad would be very surprised to hear that i don't think that's true though i really don't lead a disciplined life though i'm trying to mm bombay anand bhavan sweets available in velour now yes i don't know where else it's available it's a velour based thing and my dad owns it favorite thing about living alone in mumbai oh so many things honestly i love this city and the area i'm living in is really nice also i think the best part about mumbai is, is that it's so safe so even at night like unlike in other indian cities where i don't feel the safest traveling alone at night in mumbai it's super safe although i mean you never know with india but i feel like relatively compared to other cities mumbai is very safe and there's also the beaches here are really dirty but i still like the sea and the breeze the sea breeze and the sound of the waves so i like going and sitting on carter road and stuff so that i really like and also another awesome thing about mumbai which again ha- doesn't happen in other cities is that rickshaws yo they run by meter so that is amazing all my friends who come from outside they're just like so surprised when they see rickshaws running by meter what type of editing software do you use I edit on Final Cut Pro 10 and I started with iMovie which is a free software. Final Cut Pro is a paid software and I'm going to do a whole video about how I edit my videos. It'll come up this week so keep an eye out for that. How do you know Tamil? Ravi Kumar asks. I grew up in Tamil Nadu. Uh, I did my schooling in Tamil Nadu. So yeah, I've lived there for 17 years. That's how I know Tamil. Arjun Singh says you are my best favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. Finding myself says do visit Siliguri in West Bengal. Uh I would like to but it won't be possible this time though I have been to Siliguri in the past. How long do you take to edit videos? It takes a very long time especially if oh someone just the ms appreciate it so yeah, what was i saying i forgot what i was saying oh yeah about editing it takes a very long time if it's a vlog if it's like a travel vlog it takes like a couple of days or sometimes if i don't have the time like i can manage to do it in a day but it still takes a lot of hours Mm-hmm. La Mer is a very nice place in Dubai. Thanks for recommendation. Yes, indeed, I loved it so much. Like I've, I've been to Dubai twice this year. Once was to go and live with a subscriber of mine, and the other time with my family. And both times, she's the one Swati. She told me about La Mer, took me there, and it's such a nice place. Have you been to Chhattisgarh? Yes, I have. Arvind MS says you are amazing. Thank you Arvind. You are amazing too. Do you have a fascination for crystals? How did you guess? Yes, I do. I have like a whole collection of crystals back home. Can you speak in Telugu? No, I cannot unfortunately. I only know Tamil and a little bit of Kannada I understand because I've lived in Bangalore as well. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like I'm getting the same questions over and over again. Someone says you have awesome fluency in English speaking. What's the secret? Thank you so much. But honestly, I've just grown up speaking in English, so I don't really have any. I mean, it's not like something I had to work on because when you learn as a kid, it's easier. And that's kind of why I make videos in English because I don't have this fluency in Hindi at all. Though my Hindi, I would like to think, is decent. But yeah, I think if you want to improve your fluency in a language, you should just like practice it more with the people around you. Try to read more as well. And yeah, I think those two things make a difference. Have you recovered from the stress you faced two weeks ago? Thanks for asking. I don't think I have completely. Honestly, I don't think that just goes away. But um, and then after that, I fell sick, unfortunately. So yeah, it didn't completely go away, but I'm definitely better now. Do you have a bucket list? If yes, what? If yes, what is it? Yes, I do, but it's like a really, really long list. But I feel like the few places that are on off the top of my head that I would really like to visit are the Philippines, Jordan, Turkey, Italy. I really want to visit Italy and New Zealand. Yeah, but of course, like a lot of other countries as well. Someone says, "How do you deal with privacy issue being a public figure now?" Honestly, I don't feel like I'm a public figure to have like an issue with my privacy. Usually, when I go out, like sometimes people recognize me and come and say hi and take a picture. So that I really enjoy because then it feels like okay, yeah, these people online you just see numbers; they are real people. So I really enjoy meeting you guys in real life when that happens. And so far, I don't think it's like a bothersome thing. In fact, yesterday I was at the mall in the evening, uh, out with my friends, and someone came. My friend was just like, "Oh, it'll be so cool if someone, uh, one of your subscribers is here." And then, like five minutes after that, someone came and took a picture with me. So, yeah, I get to like show off in front of my friends also. So, if you ever see me outside, come and say hi. Uh, Anjal Gupta says, "Love your hair color. Thank you." The diary of log says one sentence in Tamil, please. I feel like every time I go live, like people put me on the spot. Okay, let's do this. Ah, uh, ninga abdi irkingo, unga Sunday abdi poiter ko. And our plans for the coming week. Okay, I failed. I feel like if you ask me a question, I can answer in Tamil. But when you like say a sentence in Tamil or like X Y Z language, it's just like what do I say? Techno glance says you missed my super chat. I don't think so because it all comes up on the top. But sorry if I missed it. Thank you, Techno Glance. Mm-mm-mm. Any book recommendations? I made a whole video of like five books that I recommend you guys to read. So I think watch that. Like those books are my favorites of all time. Someone says your father's shop, food shop, food tour, please. Okay, yeah, maybe next time I go home, I'll ask him if I can do that. Okay, Mamta asks an interesting question. Choose between movies on Netflix or in the cinema. I think net, oh uh, sorry, cinema for sure, because I love going out and watching movies. It's like my favorite pastime, and also I love nachos at the cinema. So movies at the cinema. Pancakes or cupcakes? That's difficult, but I'm gonna say pancakes. Coke or Sprite? Neither. I don't like aerated drinks. I've never liked aerated drinks since I was a kid. Love marriage or arranged marriage? I don't know what it's gonna be, but I feel like um, love marriage is something I believe in more than an arranged marriage for myself. Ice creams or cakes? Cakes. And she says this is Isha, not Mamta. Okay, hi Isha. Will you ever do a foreign trip without filming? If so, which country or place? I don't think so. I would really like to, but I feel like um, I just feel like any trip now is a waste if I don't film it, which is such a bad mentality to have. But that's just how it's become. So I don't think so. Mm. 
do you remember Siri Aluwala asks, do you remember any of your fans or subscribers' names? Yes, I do. A lot of them. In fact, even yours because you comment on a lot of my videos and I think message me on Instagram as well. Shinjini asks, ever use dating apps like Tinder? I have used them like in the past, but I haven't in the last two years. A lot of people are asking, do you recognize your subscribers who comment regularly? Yes, I do. In fact, like sometimes some people comment on every video and then if it, they don't uh, comment on one particular video, I'm just like, oh my God, why didn't that person comment? So yeah, I remember whoever comments on my videos. Oh, someone says, I checked out when in city. Are you joining the Italy March tour? I'm joining. That's so awesome. I don't think I'm joining that tour, but you're going to have so much fun. The trips are really fun. And you're going to Italy. That's so cool. Give your home tour, Shilpa says. You will have to wait till next week. I think my home tour will finally be up next week. Although like this is like a studio apartment, so it's not very big. So it's probably going to be a short video. But yeah. Are you from LSR, Anamika Rana? Yes, I am. I graduated in 2013. Someone says your brother is learning music. Yes, he is. He's moving to the US to study music at Berkeley, um, Berkeley College of Music. Oh, we have another super chat from Sivanesh R. Hi, thank you so much, Sivanesh R. He says, fan of your travel videos, following you since Banaras blog. You're the best. Thank you so much. That is a very long time since uh, you've been following me because Banaras, I think, happened like two years ago. Thanks so much for the super chat. Sorry, guys, my chat is acting up. I'm just scrolling back up again. Will you do a vlog about Tamil Nadu? Honestly, I would like to, but I feel like for me, I enjoy vlogging about places I haven't already traveled to and I've traveled so much within Tamil Nadu. I don't think there's any place that I haven't really visited. So, yeah, I would like to, but I don't know when it'll happen. Okay, guys, sorry. What I was fearing happened. Wait, am I back? Guys, can you hear me? What I was fearing happened. My Wi-Fi acted up, so I had to turn it off and turn it on again. But let me know if this is working. Can you guys hear me? Mayur just super chatted me. Thank you so much, Mayur. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, let me know if this is working. That was so annoying. Okay, yeah, a lot of people said yes. Glad to see you live. Okay, awesome. All right, let me scroll back up. I have missed a lot of questions, I think. Wow, we have been live for 30 minutes already. What about air pollution in Mumbai? It is bad, but if you compare it to Delhi, I think it's better, which is not really a good city to be comparing uh, air pollution with. Uh, but yeah, like in daily life, I, I don't know if I'm just used to it or if I don't feel it, but it definitely is a very polluted city. Parna says, Kiki, the background music in your vlogs are good. Thank you so much. Uh, most of the music I use is from this website called Epidemic Sound. And uh, I'm doing like a collaboration with them uh, this month. So if you want to try it out, they normally give like a one month trial. But if you use my code, I think it's Kritika Goel, but I will share my code in my next video. So if you use that code, you get like two months free. 
so if you're a youtuber trying to find music you can try that out kaushikin asks do you watch movies yes i do i love watching movies in fact last night i went to watch the new jumanji movie which was not the best compared to the last part it was really sad Ajay says what do you think is the future of travel vlogging in India do you at any point feel the entire scene has got saturated or is there room for everyone such a news reporter type question i think there is a good future for it in fact i think it's just in a nascent stage now travel vlogging in india so i think there is room for everyone and i feel like it helps if you have your own style so if you have your own style then you have an audience for it and youtube isn't like a place where you know if one person does well the other doesn't cuz people end up watching like a lot of following a lot of youtubers so i think it is a good uh, place and there's a lot of scope for travel vlogging in india please visit rajasthan yes i would love to visit again i haven't been to jodhpur and jaisalmer so uh, i really want to visit that atul says i'm still waiting for your call oh my god i'm so so i'm so sorry i didn't call you back i will call you tonight what are you going to have for dinner today archal my stomach has not been the best i mean my i've just been sick like the last two weeks so i've been eating like khichdi and that type of stuff so i don't think i'm having anything exciting tonight when are you coming to brazil no plans yet but uh, hopefully in 2020 i feel like i'm saying that for every place that you guys are suggesting but yeah 2019 has been a crazy travel year for me so hopefully 2020 will be better you travel often how do you take care of your personal safety and keep your family posted ashwarya asks that oh uh, i feel like these days it's very easy because with internet and mobile connectivity or like easily connected with your family so it's not really an issue like before take off i text them after landing i text them so yeah you can just like easily keep everyone posted that way and most countries i travel to are like safe countries to travel in so there's not really been any issues as such When you come to Brazil we are waiting for you I can be your tour guide. Okay that's awesome when I come I will get in touch with you hopefully I can plan a trip sometime this year I mean next year 2020. Do you recommend a forex card for traveling? Yes I do I think it's a good idea to carry a forex card. Uh usually I do like a forex card I carry my debit card and my credit card and some local currency so I go extra prepared. but yeah a lot of times like i mostly end up using my forex card so you just have to like see for each country what the best possible i mean where you're getting the best deal like for asian countries southeast asian countries i feel uh getting currency is the best option but if you're going to europe and stuff then like a forex card makes sense Okay guys I've been online for like live for 35 minutes I'm going to do this for like 10 15 minutes more so if you have any questions about youtubing or anything like travel life uh or if you just want to see anything or chat we can do it for another 15 minutes Mm-mm-mm. ओके इस कल्पेश आस्क हेलो मैम अगर मुझे वियतनाम जाना हो और मेरी बैंकॉक में ले ओवर है सिक्स आवर्स का तो क्या मुझे थाईलैंड भी का भी ट्रांजिट वीजा लेना पड़ेगा नो इफ यू आर नॉट अगर आप एयरपोर्ट छोड़ के नहीं जा रहे हो तो नहीं लेना होगा बट एक बार आप आपके एयरलाइन से चेक कर लीजिए क्योंकि कुछ एयरलाइंस का होता है वो इशू बट आई थिंक थाईलैंड का अभी तो वैसे फ्री वीजा हो गया इंडियंस के लिए इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग सो आई डोंट थिंक यू विल नीड एनी Oh I got another super chat from Harman Deep 
how safe do you feel for tra- feel traveling in india any new project other than youtube thanks firstly for the super chat harman uh, appreciate it and honestly india i mean because i'm so comfortable with india like i think it's safe for me i feel safe traveling here but yeah you do have to take caution and i haven't traveled that much in india solo if i'm being honest so i don't think i'm the right person to be answering that but every time like i've traveled with like my girlfriends and stuff and i've never really felt unsafe so there is that but of course like we do take our precaution and not uh, go out late at night and stuff like that and any new project other than youtube there are a few things that i am thinking of but uh, i don't want to say it yet cuz it's still in the pipeline so yeah but there are some things that i'm thinking of nikhil says 5 months ago i've been to goa and booked the same oyo room in which you was in which you were staying see how much i like your videos <laughs> thank you so much and uh, yeah i think that oyo property was quite good Lalit Sharma, I think you just joined. You're asking me where my next trip is. It's going to be to Kolkata in January. Raj Verma says, say something about your LASIK experience. So, for people who don't know, I got LASIK eye surgery sometime last year. It's been over a year now, and I think it's one of the best blessings of my life because. uh it is just made life so convenient i used to love wearing glasses like my problem wasn't with how glasses looked on me but it just got very inconvenient when you're traveling cuz i hated wearing lenses and stuff so yeah it has been amazing it's like i've liter- literally been gifted with new eyes arvind ms says check out new global card they don't have markup charges on forex card it's a new startup yes i have heard of it i have checked it out So that is nice, and also book my forex is also pretty good. I don't think they also charge markup charges, so you can check that out too. Mm. Anshul Gupta says, "Is your brother learning music or some instrument?" So he's learning music, but he also plays the drums and the guitar. I think the drums are his main instrument, but he's learning music overall, and drums. I think I'm not sure. how do you book your flights and hotel rooms so honestly there are like these four or five websites which are popular which everyone knows of there's like make my trip and like yatra.com and like like a lot of them and sky scanner and stuff like that so i check all of them see where i'm getting the best uh, possible deal and i just book there so yeah that's how i go about it Vandana says you keep me encouraging watching you on YouTube fills me with self confidence and independence and gives me inspiration to stay alone that's so sweet thank you so much Vandana how do you manage your mumbai expenses i mean i'm making decent money now so that's how i'm managing it is an expensive city to live in so it took me like a really long time uh, i moved back home with my parents uh, about around the time when i quit my job and decided to do youtube full time to save on rent but now i'm making decent money so it's easy for me to manage here have you ever turned down a brand collaboration and regretted it later i don't think i've ever regretted it but i have turned down like i think i turned down like 70% of the brand collaborations that i get because a i don't want to be doing too many of brand collaborations and b like i'm very specific about uh, what kind of brands i want to work with and if it fits my theme or not so yeah but i don't think i've ever regretted it later on do you travel alone or with friends i do a mix of both Have you ever felt shy when you film videos in public? If so, how did you get over that? Yes, I used to a lot. Uh it's not easy to just like take a camera and like point it uh to yourself, to your face and like talk in like a public setting. In fact, it still affects me sometimes I think, but now but like now I've gotten very used to it. So, 
I think if you want to, how do you get over that? If you want to get over that, you just have to force yourself to do it a few times and then you just get used to it. So that's the secret sauce. But yeah, it is like an awkward thing. I mean, to be doing, especially in India, because I mean, it's people are just very inquisitive. Like if you're vlogging in abroad, like no one cares, no one's even looking at you. But in India, if you're vlogging, there'll be 10 people staring at you. And it does like get awkward. But yeah, I think you can just like use that to your advantage, like, you know, Oh, I don't know. But yeah, like it just takes practice, honestly. I don't know how to answer, give you a better, easier answer. But the best thing to do is just practice. Have you faced any breakup? Yes, I have broken up in the past. Oh, people have asked me this. Okay, Isha has asked a bunch of other this or that questions. Library or museums? I think museums. Uh, though I love reading, but I think I like reading on my Kindle now. So I'm going to say museums because I love museums. French or Spanish? I know neither. So neither. Summer or winter? Definitely summer. Theater or cinema? That's difficult. I like both. But if I had to pick, then I'd say cinema. Love or money? I'm going to say love, but like I feel like that's the easy thing to say. But yeah, I think love for sure if I had to pick. Ankit Singh says, Hi, Kritika. I'm in your hometown, Velour. Will you do a meetup in Velour? I don't live in Velour anymore. I live in Mumbai. So it's not going to happen, unfortunately. Shiva Sai says, It seems you haven't slept much. Quite the contrary. I have been sleeping a lot because I have been sick. Rohit Saxena says, is doing a job better than YouTube? I don't know what you mean by better, but for me, doing YouTube has been better in terms of my aptitude and interests and also the rewards. But yeah, it's a very personal thing for like most people. YouTubing isn't something they aspire to do. And it's also, you need to understand that like, if I had to compare my jobs to YouTube, I think YouTube is like way more hectic. And mind you, I've like worked in finance and stuff like my jobs I remember my first job, I would go to work at night and I mean at nine in the morning and come back home at like two, three a.m. And even my advertising job was like I'd go I'd go to work at 10 in the morning and come back at like four, five a.m. So it was like really hectic, those jobs. But I still feel like uh, YouTube is even more hectic because I mean, it doesn't have to be hectic. But if you want to grow and stuff, uh, it is kind of like a hectic thing to be in. So it depends, like only if you're really interested in YouTube, can you do this field, but it is an amazing uh, field to be in. Ever planning on collaborating a video with Sol Soloni? Yes, of course, we have been planning it. So hopefully we'll do a collab soon. Mm, how is the weather in Mumbai? Honestly, uh, I'm not a fan of like winter. So right now it's like sort of pleasant. For me, but everyone here is complaining about how hot it is. So yeah, it is hot, I suppose. Any plans of vlogging here in the Philippines? Yes, like in 2020, Philippines for sure. I'm making it happen because it has been on my bucket list for a very long time. Do you have plans to come to Nagaland? Yes, I would love to. My first roommate from college was from Nagaland. She lives there now in Kohima. So she's been calling me and for a while uh, I've been wanting to go to Nagaland. So definitely I will visit. Going through skin breakout, any remedies, any skincare you follow? Uh, for like breakout, like I've been get, I'm getting this. I use like this patch. Uh, I can't remember which brand's patch it is. But yeah, you can just like buy one of those patches uh, that you get, like those sheet of patches and those work really well, I feel. Mm. Can you make more food vlogs in Mumbai areas? Yes, for sure. I can do that. 
what do you do when you're not editing vlogging honestly there's like no such time where i'm not editing vlogging i feel like it takes up so much of your time uh but yeah the last couple of weeks i've not been doing either because i've just been sick so although i did like film like that night routine video so i filmed and edited that but yeah otherwise i've just sort of just been resting and reading now Okay, wow. Oh, am I back? Is this working? Guys, can you hear me? I think I got disconnected again. YouTube is my Wi-Fi is being so annoying. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Actually, I was just about to go, but since we got disconnected, I think I'll hang around for 5 more minutes and answer some more questions and then go. Okay, yes, everyone saying they can hear me. Yeah, my Wi-Fi like when it needs to perform it doesn't. It's so annoying. Okay, awesome. We everyone can hear me now. Great. Oh, Ajay asks an interesting question. How tough was it to convince the quintessential Indian family on pursuing an unconventional dream such as YouTube? Also, what would be the driving force here to quit your job? Would it be the money? Hmm, interesting. So honestly, like my situation was very different. I was gonna apply to B schools. I'd taken my GMAT, and I was gonna apply to B schools. And the whole B school application process is like very intense. You need to have a strong why of why you're applying. And when I sat down to think about that, I didn't really have a very good why to be applying to B schools. And B schools are really expensive. So. if you don't have a good reason to be going then it's just like a lot of money to be spending on something like that when you're not sure of it so that's when at, at that point i'd already started youtubing and i wasn't really making much money from it but uh it was something that i enjoyed and i felt like it had scope so yeah then when i spoke to my dad about it like he uh i thought he would not be a little disappointed because i think he wanted me to i mean i thought he wanted me to do uh, like an mba for a very long time but when i told him he was so supportive in fact he was the one i didn't even say i want to quit my job and do youtube i was just like you know i'm not sure i want to go to b school like i don't know what i want to do with my life and he was like why don't you give youtube a full like a real shot so yeah surprisingly i didn't expect that at all like my parents were super chill and very supportive and encouraging so i've been blessed that way कुमार प्रवीण डू यू नो हिंदी लैंग्वेज हाँ मुझे बहुत अच्छे से आती है हिंदी हालांकि मेरे दोस्त मेरी हिंदी का मजाक उड़ाते हैं काफी बट मुझे तो लगता है मेरी हिंदी अच्छी है वाई इज योर हेयर नॉट ब्लैक बिकॉज आई हैव कलर्ड इट माई फ्रेंड Your dad seems to be really supportive and cool. Yes, I've done like two Q and A videos with him as well. He's like super excited about YouTube and um everything that I'm doing now. Do you have any plans to visit South America or Africa? I love your videos, Kritika. Thank you, Ritormi. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. So I would definitely. like to visit those places but i don't really have any solid plans yet i was supposed to go to jordan this year with my brother but like that didn't work out unfortunately but yeah hopefully it'll happen sometime soon have you been to russia no i haven't and funny story like i think the first time like a tourism board reached out to me was uh, russia's tourism board and i couldn't go on that trip because it was right before um it was around the time i was getting my lasik surgery and they reached out to me very last minute so that didn't work out but yeah hopefully they'll reach out to me again पार्ट सेज हिंदी में वीडियो बनाएं प्लीज 
भाई मैं अगर हिंदी में वीडियोस बनाऊँ तो मेरे जो तमिलनाडु में और इंडिया के बाहर काफी सारे सब्सक्राइबर्स हैं उनको समझ में नहीं आएंगे मेरे वीडियोस तो मे बी आई ट्राई एक आध वीडियो मैं हिंदी में बना के देखती हूँ Okay, guys. Sorry, like there are so many questions that if I've missed any, I apologize. Do you know Bhojpuri? No, I don't. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I feel like I give a very introvert vibe, but I'm an extrovert. And if you're, if you know like Myers Briggs and you follow that stuff, then I'm an ENFP. Will you ever make merch? Yes, I would love to, but I don't know if people will buy my merch. So. I don't know. If you tell, let me know, Isha. If you'll buy my merch, then I will make my merch soon. I don't know why the are you guys sending the same questions again, or is YouTube just acting weird? What is your nickname? So everyone at home calls me Kiki. That's what I've been called since I was a kid. Everyone's like, do you know Haryanvi? Do you know Bhojpuri? Guys, I only speak three languages. I know English, Hindi, and Tamil. That's all. Bharat, hey, hi, Bharat. He says I'll buy your merch. Yeah, okay. A lot of you guys seem to be interested in my merch, so I will think about it. One more collab with Tanya. Yes, for sure, Mayur. That'll be awesome. Have you been through any scam in foreign travel? I don't think I have, honestly. I'm trying to think. No, I don't think I have. Ajay asks, "What is the what is it that you look for in a holiday destination? Is there a specific checklist in mind before zeroing on on a place?" Or, uh, honestly, like I think for me personally, I really enjoy cities which have like a lot of culture and history. and beaches so those are like my favorite types of places to visit so if it's one of those two things then i don't even have to think twice i would love to visit that place and apart from that i also really i mean like pe- people assume that you can only be like a beaches or mountains person like if i had to pick i would pick beaches but i also enjoy the mountains so i don't know it just depends on what you feel like doing in that moment and if it's affordable at that time of the month or at that time of the year and stuff like that Although I feel like in twenty nineteen, most of my trips have been like, okay, who's invite? Which country is inviting me to visit their country? Like, which tourism board is inviting me? I've just been going there. So yeah. Is YouTube income sufficient for covering your travel expenses? At the moment, I think yeah. Although like I mean, I'm only saying that because most of my travel is also covered as part of like my job. So that way, yeah, it is. If my travel wasn't sponsored i don't think i'd be able to do as many trips abroad or i'd have to do like budget trips and stuff but yeah you do make decent money through youtube will you come to london yes i would love to if someone can buy, sponsor my tickets i would love to come to london when is your video editing blog coming So I plan to post that sometime this week probably on Thursday so keep an eye out for that. Have you been to Maldives? Yes I have but I was like 4 and a half years old then so a very very long time ago. How is it living alone? Just about to shift to Hyderabad going to face home alone things. So I have been living alone I mean this is my first apartment where I'm living by myself with like no other roommates or flatmates but I have been living alone like away from home since I was 17 so it's been like 9 years now so 
yeah like i think it's an amazing thing everyone should experience it's a very good learning experience and you end up being more independent and more responsible and yeah you just have time for a lot of other things to work on yourself and stuff so i think it's a very good experience you're going to have a good time have you been doing any other job other than youtube not at the moment i have had four jobs in the past like i worked for three years three and a half four years so i worked in finance and then advertising and then marketing uh and initially when i quit my job i was doing a bit of freelance writing on the side to like support myself uh but right now it's just youtube and social media Okay guys this video is about to hit an hour and I don't want to make it longer than 1 hour because no one's going to watch it later on if it's so long so I'm going to wrap it up I think I'll do two more questions Your Iceland video inspired me a lot planning to do a trip to Iceland is 12 days sufficient for the trip Yes I think 12 days is good I think we also did a 12 day trip if I'm not wrong so yeah you can cover the whole um whole ring road and do Reykjavik and stuff in 12 days that should be good hey okay, someone's asking for my qualifications again i answered this already in this live so for the sake of everyone else i'm not going to repeat that but you can just look up my linkedin profile traveling on your own versus traveling through travel agency which is budget friendly So it depends on where you're going. Usually traveling on your own is obviously cheaper I think provided you have the expertise and you're good at like uh booking things and like you know um how do I say it? So basically like some countries are just really difficult to travel I mean to plan and travel in. For example like when I went to Iceland that was a bit uh um, difficult for us to plan on our own. We could have planned but it's such a secluded country. uh that you know if we did the bookings ourselves and if there was some issue like we wouldn't know what to do about it so we decided to go through like a tour operator so that was more expensive but then you're paying more for the comfort and convenience so it depends on where you're traveling to some countries where it's really easy to travel in you don't really need a travel agent and stuff you can just book yourself and if you don't have the time if you're if you have extra money you don't mind spending a little extra for that comfort and convenience then maybe look for a travel agent or a travel company someone mayur says do live stream every week i somehow like i feel like i don't know if people enjoy live streams but every time i go live like a lot of you join in and like it's a fun experience so yeah i think i will do lives if not weekly at least like once a month or twice a month I have checked for Dubai taking 6k for visa and travel agent is giving in cheaper than own trip. I don't know if that's the case then go through like an agent but I feel like uh usually it ends up being a bit more expensive. It's not always the case. Sometimes like travel agents because for me like because I'm experienced with booking and stuff it's easier for me to find like good deals and all of that. but a lot of people don't have that experience so maybe like you know if you go through a travel agent it ends up being cheaper and it's planned better as well so yeah like a lot of times i think travel agents are like a good option as well are you from chennai no i'm not but i'm from velour which is near chennai Okay guys, I think I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for joining. If I didn't answer your question, if I missed it, I'm so sorry, but I will do another live soon. And yeah, I'm going to I'm feeling much better today. If you didn't know I had a fever and stuff, so I couldn't really post much, but uh, Okay, so many questions coming up still. But yeah, guys, this has been going on for an hour. I need to go. Okay, this is distracting. But yeah, okay. I will do lives more often, and 
yeah i think i'm going to plan and post at least two videos this week so keep an eye out for that one is going to be on how i edit my videos and another one i have a bunch of like videos that i've filmed which i've not edited so i'm just going to post one of those so yeah i will do that and i do go live more often on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram do that my handle is at kritika underscore goel so i'm more active on instagram i feel with my stories and everyday life and all of that so yeah thank you so much for joining and people are like stay for a bit longer okay this video is already like longer than an hour guys all right people saying bye Okay I'm going to do one last question before I go because so many of you are like please stay a bit longer so one last question going to go after this for sure now Okay Ajay has said that was there ever a moment when you felt you never did justice to a video and could have done it better what matters the most quality or quantity if quality then isn't consistency the key in YouTube I think I feel that way about like all my videos because the thing with YouTube is if you have the time you can make the best videos possible like if I had a month I could take like make the best video possible take as much time as I want to edit and post that but it ultimately depends on what your goal with YouTube is for me it's like frequently engaging with my audience and sharing uh I don't know like I don't have like filmmaking and like you know making like the best video out there kind of aspirations so I'm not really into that for me i enjoy the process of like sharing my experiences and like as soon as possible with my audience so for me personally i feel like um i like to post i don't know like you have to strike the balance like if the quality is satisfactory to me then uh, that works for me of course if i have more time then i can make it better but yeah that's just like i don't have those filmmaking aspirations so that's not something i'm looking for but yeah i think quality like on youtube like quality is important but quantity is also important so you have to strike a good balance i think once a week at least you should be posting and okay everyone now i'm finally going to go thank you so much for joining and i will do a live again soon follow me on instagram if you haven't liked this video please go and like it down there and um, yeah subscribe to my channel press the bell button the usual stuff and i will see you guys in a video this week bye